Kim Jong-un, a young leader with a nuclear arsenal. Very little was known about him back in 2010 when he was first introduced to the world as heir apparent. Within just one year, he was in charge. Partly educated in the West, some even dared to hope that he would start to open up one of the world's most isolated countries. But then came the missiles, the nuclear tests, the purges. His rule is brutal, executions common. He even had his own uncle killed and branded a traitor in state media. On his watch, there have been four nuclear tests, multiple missile tests, and no amount of international sanctions or offers of dialogue, even threats of war, could stop Kim Jong-un's approach. He engaged in a war of words with the US President Donald Trump, calling him mentally deranged, a rogue, a gangster. Trump called him a madman, dubbing him Rocket Man. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. January 1st, 2018, it all changed. Kim Jong-un said that he had reached his stated goal of being able to hit mainland United States with a nuclear-tipped missile. Now, few believe that he can actually do that, but fewer still are willing to test it. His strategy changed dramatically, sending athletes, delegations, even his own sister to the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics in South Korea, then meeting with world leaders for the first time since he took power, emerging from a global pariah to the man to meet, seen as a legitimate leader negotiating on equal terms. So whether or not you believe him when he says that his focus has shifted from nuclear to the economy, many experts agree Kim Jong-un has played it well. Thank you.